hello, virtual friend. I've been praying for you. I don't know your name. Some of you I do. Some of you I met last week or we renewed friendships or rekindled connection. But there's a whole wide world out there that I haven't met. But you know what? Jesus knows your name. He saw you when you were born. He knit you together in your mother's womb. And he has a purpose and he has a plan for your life. He said that I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. When's the last time you have experienced abundant life? Not false abundant life on um, oh, a roller coaster ride or something where you get that adrenaline rush and that hit. But real deep perpetual joy that flows through you like a river, that wells up with peace inside of you, that is always there no matter what, even in the hard times. That's what life is like living every day with Jesus. Of course, there's sadness. The Bible says that it rains on the just and the unjust alike. But the difference is that when calamities happen and things go wrong, you have a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He never leaves you and he never forsakes you and he watches over you. And yes, I was praying this morning and I was telling the Lord, I said, there's so many out there that they believed in Jesus Christ once. And then somebody with skin on that proclaimed to be a Christian hurt you, let you down, disappointed you, showed you the hypocritical side of humanity that isn't good. And you know, the Apostle Paul said that if I or another come and preach this gospel, to not, to not believe them, to only follow after the word. And so I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is real. No matter what happens, no matter who fails, no matter who disappoints you, that does not change the reality of Jesus Christ. And he is reaching for you today. And he wants you to know that he really does have abundant life. So I ask that you would pray with me now. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to guide me so that I can pray what is on his mind and heart. Because see, he knows who's watching. He knows that you clicked on this video. And he has something I believe that he wants to minister to you if you will open your heart and pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, you see every person that's watching right now. You know their heart, you know their mind, you know their spirit. You know the troubles that they went through this week. You know the things that pressed on their heart. The people that hurt them, the people that disappointed them. God, with everything in them, they want to believe in you. They want to latch on to you and believe that tomorrow can be a different day because they have accepted you and embraced you and come into the abundant life with you. But it's hard for them, Lord, because they've seen so much disappointment. They've seen so many proclaim that there's hope and there's change only to have it be false. So I ask right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you speak to their heart and that they whisper a prayer, a specific need to you right now. And that you respond to that need in a way that they will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are real. God, you came that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. I ask that you build their faith. I ask that you encourage them. I ask, God, that you meet them where they are right now, that they feel your holy presence, that they run to your word and they run to the foot of the cross and they lay it all down before you and they will give you the glory. I pray in agreement with whatever need that they spoke. And I look forward, Lord, to hearing their good report. In Jesus' name, amen. So I pray that you ask the Lord for something specific. When he does it, I pray that you would let me know because that builds our faith and it builds your faith. Send me a message. Leave a, leave a note in the chat. God bless. I'll talk to you next week.